Good morning to you and welcome back to the Queen of Wands. I am Pat. We're shaking everybody. I hope all is well. I hope you guys have a beautiful day in store. Thanks for joining me again. I appreciate each and every one of you all. All right. Um, I have some energy here. You guys know today is a new moon. All right. It's a new moon. It's a lot of different planetary cycles going on here. You know, it's a new moon. So that's another cycle that we're about to go into. Okay. And there's some divine messages here that I want to share with you guys. Okay. In addition to them out here trying to do moon magic again. All right. Look at this moon magic again. They won't stop. Divine said the death spells. Look at this. They're trying to do death spells on your kids. They're trying to hurt your kids. All right. Abuse your kids under this new cycle because they can't get to you so now they're going to start trying to get to your kids all right and i'm gonna tell you here i picked up this energy yesterday you have an auntie this could be my auntie lily but you all have an auntie all right you could be the queen of wands leo aries sag all right but your auntie is protecting you all right your auntie is protecting you and they see that someone's sending evil eye and candle magic on you all right, your ancestors are here. Here they go. All right, they here, and you see this is a child. So they are protecting your child. They see what's going on with these kids here, okay? These are, this is a son, all right, and a daughter. Your son and daughter. Somebody could have a son who's into astrology as well, okay? But the ancestors see that somebody's trying to fuck with your son or your daughters, okay? And they stressed out about this. All right. The reason they stressed out is they could have did death spells on your kids. All right. And now they having a lot of problems with their kids. All right. Someone could have even lost a child. All right. They put suicide energy, trying to plant suicide energy into your children. But now someone could have committed suicide on their part. Okay. So divine is saying the death spell you put out on others under this new moon. It might be your own. All right. If you are here doing death spells on people, there's going to be an instant reaction, instant reversal. And it might be your own death or it might be your own children's death. So y'all better watch who y'all playing with. Okay. Hurting these kids out here trying to fuck with kids head and shit, making them feel some kind of way. But if you're having problems with your kids and you're out here doing death spells on motherfuckers, this is why. You're hurting your own fucking kids doing death spells on other people's kids. Okay? So you need to really wake the fuck up about what's going on. Because God said you're going to be so stressed and you're going to be so fucking worried. Out here doing death spells wishing people would die. Somebody even could be poisoning kids out here. But Divine said the death spell you do today under this new moon might be your own or someone in your family. Okay. Mm, Y'all got a, a vicious auntie right here who is pissed and they working with this ancestral tribe. They see exactly what's going on here under this new moon. Look at that little moon symbol right there. Okay. They see exactly what's going on here. They see that somebody's definitely doing spell work. Okay. Look at this magician. Okay. So this is feel the power of your ancestors. They're in the blood. You are not alone. This is 10. They are here to close shit out. Close this cycle out completely under this new moon. So feel the power of your blood and your ancestors. You guys are all connected here. Okay. Some of us have a double mission. Okay. You're a light worker and a star seed. All right. And it's time to serve the world by being just you. Serve the world by being authentic is what divine is saying. Serve the world by being you and authentic. All right. And this is, yes, under these planetary cycles here. And this is the card I got today in my reading. Uh, Arcurian. I hope I'm pronouncing this right. Arcurian. All right. Gifted at di divination, channeling, a leader in communities and workplaces, and here to advance and motivate others. This is your soul purpose. Okay. And a lot of us have mastered our soul purpose. All right. So the question to you is, you have a soul purpose. Have you started working on that soul purpose yet? 
Or are you just watching videos learning about the soul purpose? You have to start initiating yourself to get started on your purpose. Okay? It's more to it than just watching videos and finding out the dirt. Okay? It's a purpose behind this. And the purpose is to change this. We all got to chip in. This is a everybody effort here to change evolution of how things in society is ran today. Okay? A lot of us are still stuck in the shadows, unresolved past issues from the past life situations and childhood. Nothing. Some, some of us are still living in this dark energy and we don't know how to get out of it. And divine says because we're not recognizing our self-worth. Okay? All right. So I'm going to show you guys again how to pay attention to the signs and synchronicities. All right? You know I'm a Leo and a strength card is for a Leo. Okay? I was at the dollar store yesterday picking up a couple of things. Well, the overpriced dollar store. It's not a dollar store any fucking more, okay? I'm still pissed off about that. I haven't got over that. <laughs> Those are the things that I get upset about. But anyway, um, I seen this stone. And this was a message to me. Have strength. I am a Leo, okay? And then when I came in the office, what I get? The strength and guidance. So that was my message of how you connect. Look at this. The next card is yes. Listening to your intuition and receiving the downloads. And one of my downloads yesterday was to have strength. All right. And this stone, I bought it, you know, and it's, and then I get this message, strength and guidance. Okay. And that's a message from the vine. Have strength, queen of wands. You're going to get through this. Okay, look at this because what? I'm angelically protected. This card has been coming out every fucking day. Every time I shuffle this deck here over here, my spiritual messages, I get this. Divine said, no matter what, you are protected. You have our armor. Here's your shield. Here's that sword. I'm protected. Thank you, Holy Spirit. And they want us to raise our vibration. Live our life to the fullest. Don't be scared. Don't be stuck. That's what they want. If you're scared and stuck and powerless, how can you raise your your vibration? How can you raise your vibration? Okay, and how can you defend yourself? It's not like you got to go out and fight, but if you have a strong vibration, you can kind of ward off all this negative energy. You know, just ward it off. Don't get caught up in it. What they doing? Just work on yourself and raise your vibration. Okay. All right, so let's get off into these missions. I mean, <laughs> yeah, we got missions. That's true. But this is a double mission. All right. And this is new moon energy. This is what divine want us to know under the new moon. Look at this. Get started. Your double mission. Light workers and star seeds. It's time to serve the world. That's what divine is saying. Okay. It's time to get started. Holy Spirit, what is the messages you want us to know? This is my light worker star seed deck right here. All right, and this is a cosmic heart, devotion, potency. Make your life a moving prayer. All right, make your life a moving prayer. You know, it's like talk to God. They said, ask and you shall receive. All right, Holy Spirit, what is the messages here that you want us to know under this new moon? I want to drop this energy because we've been given so much fucked up energy. So instead of us worrying about what they're doing to us, are rather for us to get the messages from our ancestors this time. Okay? This is a new earth. It's happening. Keep holding the vision. Divine want us to hold the vision that we can rectify this fucked up earth. Okay? This world is fucked up. All right? We're supposed to help make it a better place. All right? The seven star sisters. This is birthing creations, tapestry of life, and expressing yourself. Being happy again. Just like a happy dance. Just getting life where it used to be. Life wasn't meant to be like this. Divine said, I went through all that for you guys. And this is the outcome. Everybody hate each other. Deception. Deceit. Death. All right. So it's the golden children. Inner child. Tenderness. Innocent. Rare gifts. Divine want us to protect our children. You know, they're innocent. They are a rare gift. And some people taking advantage of your children. And this is what divine want us to protect. The golden children. They are special. They are here for a purpose to be loved. If we help our children when they're children, 
when they grow up, they won't have all these fucked up ass wounds. And that's what divine want us to prevent because a lot of people haven't dealt with these wounds that they had as a child. And now they're all here afflicting these wounds upon other people as, as their adulthood in their adulthood. So when you don't heal from the past, you bring all this wounded energy into your adulthood and then you start affecting other people as well with your wounds because you refuse to heal. Okay, Holy Spirit, what other messages here? Yeah, you're being called here, Divine said. You're being called, all right? Your soul gifts and training. It's time to step up. Divine want us to step up. A lot of you guys are supposed to be doing what I'm doing. You're supposed to be elevating, all right? And this is your empathetic star seed. This is your, your, your becoming who you are. It's definitely time to step in our power. And this is stop absorbing the energies that is not yours. You have to learn how to defeat that. When you know that there's some negative energy being sent to you, don't indulge on it. Don't be like, oh, I know this. No, just fuck them. Just keep on moving. Don't sit up there and, and say, you know, let this get to you. I know they're doing this to you. I know they're doing this to me and all this kind of stuff. You know, just don't cater to it. When you cater to it, that's when you project it onto yourself. All right, it's time to transmute that bullshit ass energy. I don't feel shit. I don't cater to shit. I don't care what somebody doing to me. When divine say I'm protected, you know, and follow your dreams, live your life. That's what I do. All right. And if anything happens to me, it's God's will. And that's the way I think. I'm not going to live in fear. I'm not going to be afraid to live my life and to live my purpose because somebody want to throw voodoo at me. So because somebody want to do crown chakras on me. I'm not going to change who I am. I have grown too far to work with spirit. I have done so much work and I'm not going to stop now. And that's what divine is saying. Don't be afraid to work on your mission because the divine say you are protected. You are protected and have faith in that. Don't let these evildoers, low life motherfuckers get to you and stop you from your joy and your happiness. Okay. Yes, it's going to be a lot of people out here. This is their life. This is what they do. Fuck with people. Steal from people. American greed. Try to get away with crime. You know, don't focus on that bullshit. You let divine focus on that and bring that to justice while you focus on finding your purpose and serving the Holy Spirit and evolution, being an evolution and, and giving back in positive energy. Taking care of your kids from childbirth so they can be somebody in life instead of being crooks and criminals. Instead of being abused mentally, physically. It's so much more to offer. Okay? And Divine said, follow the power of your blood and your ancestors. Feel it. Feel it. Can you feel it? Everybody know our ancestors are here. Holy Spirit, what is these messages that you want to share with us? All right, this is have the courage to be free. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Be free and live your life and know that freedom brings where it says, know that freedom begins where desire ends. All right, so this is freedom. This is two and eight is 10. You guys could be seeing 10, 10 everywhere because it's time to close out cycles that don't serve you. All right, this is, it's time for a change. Thank you, Holy Spirit. It's time for a change after all of this conflict. Do not wait or put off decisions any longer. Divine want you to move forward in your life. Okay? Thank you, Holy Spirit. All right. You are caught up in drama. Act to free yourself. Change and blossom again. Some of us are just caught up in drama. It's time to take a new step forward. And it's also something going on with fertility. Birth and new ideals. And somebody could definitely be pregnant. There could be twins someplace here. But it's time to not be stuck. Some of us sitting around stuck like we don't know what to do. All right. And you're being guided to. All right. This is flames of desire. Let them shine out in radiant light and shine dark patterns. Yes, this is shine. Don't be stuck in the dark. This is what divine saying is shadow energy here. Still being stuck in the past. Not resolving any of these situations from your childhood. All right, that's what this is. Cross the bridge of happiness. It leads to the death of your emotions. All right, it's time for you to cross the bridge to happiness. 444 is here. Okay, what's this message? Yes, the time of guilt and shame ends now. Forgive yourself. 
okay? And begin to love yourself just as you are. So stop feeling shame about shit that happened in the past. Shit that you have no control over. Who gives a fuck if they want to laugh at you and think that you're crazy and think, you know, what people... Stop giving a fuck about what people think. Don't give a fuck, all right? It's just a joke. These are minions just trying to get into your fucking head, all right? Have strength. Be strong. And don't let these motherfuckers tear you down. Don't project this negative bullshit onto yourself. All right? That's what Divine saying under this new moon. Yeah, they out here doing it again. Yeah, they not going to stop. All right? So you have to move past that. Okay? A new strategy is required. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Find a path of love and happiness. You got to find a new way. Don't be stuck here. If something didn't work out for you, don't be stuck. Move on. There could have been a failed marriage as well. All right? A felt engagement. Something didn't work out here. All right? But it's time for you to release the inner rebel. All right? You're a warrior. Okay? Be yourself and create your own universe. And divine is backing you. So it's time to come out of all of these conflicts. It's time to come out of that. Stop letting them defeat you. And get started with your purpose. Okay? This is leave your usual circles, social circles behind and seek out true companions. It's true friends here. Somebody's spirit animal could be a fox. This is number nine. You're almost there. It's time to close out these cycles here. Okay? And that's what Divine is saying. We got better things to come here. Holy Spirit, clarify. We're being called. Okay? So instead of focusing on, oh my God, they done spell work again, focus on being called to do the right thing, to start your, your path. And that's what divine is saying here. Okay. So under these planetary cycles, Holy Spirit, tell us what we need to know. Tell us anything else that we need to know. Miracles are about to be happening. Here's the birth of a baby. I told you it's a birth of a baby coming here, but this baby could be a miracle for somebody's life here. Okay. And it's miracles coming under this new cycle. Instead of us being stuck in the past and worried about what they're doing, divine, your ancestors are providing you with miracles. Okay? Yes. Peace and serenity. All right? So this is that purple energy, um, lilac energy here. That's divinity. It could be a candle. You guys could be lighting candles or should. Okay? And this is, yeah. So somebody stuck right here in ecstasy as well. So this is pleasure. Mm, I want to clarify this ecstasy, Holy Spirit. Yeah. So it could be great love here. Your life could be about ecstasy. This is finding the right companion. So you can have ecstasy in this new beginning. Divine is offering you this under this new moon phase. This new cycle. All right. So fuck what they doing. And just move on. Look at this. Divine giving y'all security. Green prosperity. All right. And also learning how to forgive. Sun energy. And moving on with your life. You done found out a lot of shit. You already know what's going on. But it's time for you to make an action plan. Don't stay stuck in what somebody is doing behind the scenes. Divine have you covered. Your ancestors have you covered about what's going on behind the scenes. Now it's time for you to move forward. They're covering behind the scenes so you can move forward in your life right now instead of staying stuck, worrying what they're going to do, what they're saying. I don't give a fuck. You have to move forward, all right? If you're so busy worried about what somebody else thinking or doing, you're going to be stuck, okay? The bottom card energy is here. It's time for us to meditate, all right? And just find some peace within your life, okay? You got a lot of better things to come. All right, Holy Spirit was a few messages from this deck as well. All right, marriage. You guys got a whole new, a whole new life coming here, okay? Somebody wants to marry you. This could be in your future. You don't know where this love might come from, and it might lead to marriage. This is what divine is offering you, something totally new. But you got to go down a new path. You have to find like-minded individuals. You already experienced... You know, someone or people or a society that you're not in connection with anymore. It's time for you to walk away from things that don't serve you. No growth. 
it's time for you to get on the same page as someone that you can see a future with. All right. Noticing red flags because of the work you did on yourself. Noticing when it's time to let go. All right. Divine says it's time for you to be conscious of your own life. Identifying less with materialism. Beginning to look inward. Spending more time alone so you can focus. It's not about how much you got. How rich you are. How good you look. It's the work on the inside. All right. That's more fulfilling than what's on the outside. Okay. This is a life path number one. You're meant to be a trailblazer, a leader, a pioneer, a risk taker. You do better working on your own. A true romantic, deep, in-depth energy in your heart. I told you it's more, it's not what's on the outside, it's what's on the inside. And that's your heart. Is it pure? Is it authentic? All right. Yes. And this is, and this is where you'll gain a victory. All right. The victory will be yours. Your enemies will be defeated. Keep going. You'll have your win. All right. And that's what divine said. We got this. Don't worry about um, what's, what somebody else is doing to you guys. Here's another message. Yeah. You must be my lucky star, Madonna. All right. You're born with good luck, but you have to activate that good luck. You can't just be stuck in a woe me, woe me energy. You can't be playing a victim of what somebody did to you. Forgive them and move on. I have no resentments. It is what it is. I look at it as a powerful lesson that I learned that I will never repeat again. And that's how God wants you to see things. Notice red flags. Notice that you are good enough. You are the best. You are chosen. Okay? To be a lucky star. God said, great message. Thank you, Holy Spirit. They said, look at this, because you're being called. All right, you're being called to utilize your spiritual gifts to give back to others for self-growth, for self-love, instead of being stuck like you're not good enough. You know, the feeling that you're not good enough is an assault on your intelligence. All right, it is. It is to for somebody even to make you feel like you're not good enough. That's an assault on your intelligence and your being. All right, because God said you're going to have a victory. Okay, Holy Spirit, what is this victory? Give us the message here. All right, because the vine said, what? Y'all got good things to come. Y'all about to experience the good things. That's the victory here. Holy Spirit, what's this message? Yes, divine timing. Thank you. Your prayers are being answered. Patience and recognition. That's the good things. A lot of us has been so patient. It could have been years that we've been waiting for shit to change. But you've been patient. All right. You worked on yourself. You found yourself love here. All right. Thank you. <laughs> it's faded moments, a faded lucky event, destined success, happiness, success, and relief in your life. These are the good things to come. This is your victory. Having confidence, releasing self-esteem related blocks, self-acceptance, strength, and balance. This is what you need to move ahead instead of being stuck. Always thinking somebody doing something to you. That shit is in your head. I don't give a fuck about what somebody doing to me behind the scenes. And that should be your attitude. Stop worrying about, I know they going to do this. I know they got this. Who gives a fuck? Your ancestors and divine know too. Okay? Don't let these low life motherfuckers get into your energy and fuck you over. Okay? So, I want to say on that note, as I end this. Um, when I said I'm not doing readings anymore. Right now, I'm not. All right? And the ones that I will be selective of, you know, I'll give you a call. Okay? And I'm not doing it because the same little energies keep trying to call. All right? I noticed that all these same energies kept calling me last night. Why? Because it's a new moon. They want to get into your energy for this new moon to try to fuck you over. Okay? Don't fall for the bullshit. All right, all you same motherfuckers that keep calling me trying to get me stuck in bullshit, fuck you. Don't fucking call me no more. The fucking grave you dug is your own, okay? And I'm out. See you guys later.